Hello everybody, I am Dr. Rand. Welcome to 5 Minutes to Geek. Today we will be looking into what are bitemporal data. So basically, in when we save a data into the database system, when we save the data into the database system, we save a timestamp with it. The timestamp defines what time was the data saved at. So uh, it is basically the audit information we save in the database. When there is only a single timestamp, that is a single dimension of time where we, when we save data, it is known as single temporal or unitemporal system. When we have two timestamps saved with the data, then that is known as a bitemporal system. It's known as a bitemporal system. So in a bitemporal system, we have two time axes, one, uh, one which is commonly known as a validation time or valid uh, validation time or validity time. The other is also known as uh, the other known as a transaction time. So these are the two time axes which we have in the bitemporal system. So they, these two time axes have different usage. For example, the transaction time is a time when uh, which says uh, when the data has been recorded. Which says when they, uh, what is the transaction time in the database means when actually the data has been inserted into the database. So when the data has been inserted into the database. That is the transition time. Validity time says that from which time to which time this data is valid actually. For example, if I say that I insert the data into the database, uh, the data has x, y, z as a column and there is a word transition time t1 and validation time v1 to v2 let's say and t1 to t2. This is a time range I am taking here for simplicity time range t1 to t2 and v1 to v2. So t1 to t2 says that this data is well uh, uh, has been inserted at time t1 and uh, and when this data has been deleted the that uh, t2 becomes a deleted time. So t1 and t2 are actually the transaction times into the uh, transition time of the data when uh, when this actually the transition happens in the database v1 and v2 are set, uh, set to be the validation time this is that xyz data is valid from time v1 to v2 so i could say uh, uh, i could say it like this so i could say like this that uh, there is a entry x y z into the database with a timestamp let's say let's take a today's time for today the date is 16th of april so i say 16th of april 21 this data has been inserted into the database so when i am going to create a record into the database so the uh, uh, it's a column a it's column b it's column c and uh, it's actually uh, I am taking a range, uh, so let's say it's a transition, transition time range, transition range, and similarly I have a validity range. So basically, the it's only the uh, usage option how we want to use this data, so uh, how we want to use this time. So I have taken a transition range, PostgreSQL provide a TS range function with the where we can provide a time range uh, for the tra transition time as well as the validity time. Uh, there, uh, there are other usages where we actually use a timestamp. So there is a transition start date, transition end date, and valid, uh, valid, uh, valid start date and valid end date. So it will these two columns will actually result in the four column. And uh, so for simplicity, I have taken these two columns, so it would be easier for understanding. So let's move ahead. Uh, uh, let's say that the transition time was 16421, and we know that this is a transition time. So the end date of the transition range is uh, let let me not say it range let me say it date transition date and validity date so 16 421 this uh, has been inserted it is null saying that this actually record is uh, valid it is actually uh, not valid it is actually existing record in the database so anyone can come and read this record so validity uh, validity date or date or valid date we could say that the yeah, to date has been inserted so let's say 16 4 21 is a uh, to null null says means we do not know when the validity of the data would end
so this data has been created now i want to update this data so when i go to uh, uh, when i take this scenario and i want to update the, the, this data so a new entry would be inserted into the database let's say i want to make this z as w this would be the new entry which would be inserted into the database and it says that yeah today is uh, let's say today date is 17 4 so it says the transaction has occurred on 17 4 21 and it uh, it says that it is uh, valid till the last uh, it is uh, existing in the database it has this record new record has been created and this is the transaction date uh, validity date because this uh, data is valid now I will simply create and I we know that this is valid until infinity now currently uh, so this record has been inserted on update the above record will be modified the above record will simply say because this data is no longer valid so what I will do I will simply make this as this was valid till 17.4 I will remove the null and change it to 17.494 this simply says that this record, uh, uh, this record transaction date or the uh, transaction date is 16 means this record has been inserted into database on the date of 16.4 and null means this is uh, this record still active in the database. Validity simply says that this record is no longer valid after 17.4.21. So this, uh, if you see the range, this record was valid from 16.4 to 17.4. When we move to the new record which has been inserted, it says that this record is valid uh, valid from 17.4 until the infinity and this record has been inserted on 17.4 and null means it, this record is still exists, uh, active in the database. Now comes the case of, uh, this was a case of update. Now comes the case of the delete. I want to delete a particular record in the from the database. So what happens is that uh, I want to delete, uh, let's say, this record from the database. When I would like to delete this record, I would simply go and change the transition end date and i would simply make it uh let's say today uh, when i came for the delete operation uh it was 18.4 so i would simply come and change it to 18.4 so it this simply says that the uh, uh, seeing the transition date i know that after 18 the, uh, 4 this record has been deleted so when i query this table on let's say 20 of 20th of april uh, 21 i would won't be able to read this record because the uh, because it says that this record has been deleted from the database so the my query would be built such that where i would see the transaction date should be null means this record should be active inside the database if it is not active inside the database i would have some uh, end date where the, this record has stopped being active or have become passive in the database validity date simply says that to conclude validity date simply says that from when to when this record may be, is valid the record will be active in the database but may not be valid in uh, from the business point of view so we uh, put up the valid uh, valid end date and uh, this uh, uh, so uh, for the validity date will not overlap at any particular point of time why because uh, uh, at a particular point of time the validity of the particular uh, the uh, the two records for a uh, same system for example if i say this is for uh, a user a and this is also for the user a so the both records for the user a cannot be valid at a single point of time so validity will this column will never overlap So that is from all my uh, from uh, all from my side. So if you have any question, post it in the comment section. I will try best to answer them. Thank you. Please like and subscribe my channel. Have fun.